Hi, it's Pastor Lindsay Burt here again. I want to give you a quick devotional thought today that I hope will be an encouragement and a blessing to your life. Thanks again for liking these uh, little devotional thoughts and for your encouraging comments. Thank you very much. I want to read a scripture from uh, Lamentations. It might not be a book that you read a lot, but it's Lamentations chapter 3. It's in the Old Testament. And it is verse 22, and it is talking about the faithfulness of God. And it says, the faithfulness of the Lord never ends. Never is a long, long time. It says, his mercy never ceases. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. It says, his mercy begins afresh each morning. I say to myself, sometimes we need to say to ourselves. we talk to ourselves. He said, I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance. Therefore, I will hope in him. Some of you are familiar with the Anne of Green Gables series, TV series. Some of you may have read the books by Lucy Maud about Anne of Green Gables. And in one of the passages in one of the books of Anne of Green Gables, there's a story about Anne putting skin medication in a cake instead of vanilla. She made the mistake. She thought it was vanilla, but she put it in the cake. Not a good idea. Afterwards, she explains hopefully to her stern face guardian, Marilla. She says, Marilla, this is in Anne's style, by the way. Marilla, isn't it nice to think that tomorrow does not have any mistakes in it yet? No mistakes in tomorrow yet, Marilla. Wow, think about that for a moment. Maybe you've made some mistakes today. Maybe there's some things you should have done that you didn't do. Maybe there's some things that you shouldn't have done that you did do. Maybe you messed up big time today. Or maybe you messed up in a small way and you know that it's wrong. You know that it was foolish. It was a stupid thing to say. It was a stupid thing to do. And beyond that, maybe it, it's even a sinful thing to say or a sinful thing to do. You might be beating up on yourself. The Bible is very clear that we should not sin, but when we do, we have this advocate with the Father, this advocate, the Lord Jesus Christ himself, who died on the cross, rose again, who forgives our sin. And the Bible says when we come to him, even though we should not sin, we should not make a practice of it, but when we do sin, we have this advocate with the Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and we come sincerely to him, and ask his forgiveness. He embraces us, forgives us, cleanses us from our sin. And the Bible says he throws it into his sea of forgetfulness, never ever to be remembered again. And so if you've messed up today in a small way or a big day, remember tomorrow is a new day. And as it says in Lamentations, his mercies are renewed every day morning because great is his faithfulness I want to encourage you today to keep on keeping on with the lord if you need to ask his forgiveness do it sincerely with purposefulness in your heart not to repeat those same things again and receive the forgiveness of god and allow the presence of jesus to fill your heart and your mind don't allow your future to be dictated by the mistakes of your past. That's what the devil will try to keep you focused on. All the problems, difficulties of the past, telling you you can't succeed. Your mistakes of the past, your sins of the past should not dictate your future. God has a good plan, good purposes for you for the future. Determine to walk in that in Jesus name. Amen. God bless you. Again, this is Pastor Lindsey Burt. Have a great rest of your day.